They thought they had Christ in their grasp. They thought they could do with him as they pleased. Thus did they mutilate him and nail him to the cross. They laughed as he promised his vengeance would fall upon them. But he stayed true to his words. The earth they trod upon ran red with blood. The cities they resided in were engulfed by flames. Having witnessed their defeat, they hid amidst the faithful. They thought they would be safe. They were mistaken. Ever steadfast inquisitors, masters at discerning subtleties and signs, followed their trail. With the words of the scripture, did they convert the heretics? With fire, did they cleanse the witches? By their hands were the deceitful vampires impaled. In the name of Christ and for his eternal glory! Welcome to Königstein, Master Inquisitor. My name's Bertram, the Guard Captain. Mortimer Maladin, licensed Inquisitor, in service to the Bishop of Hez Hezron. The Holy Office informed us of your arrival. I must admit that I'm surprised by the purpose of this visit. I don't believe there's a vampire lurking in Königstein. There hasn't been a recorded sighting of one in these parts for what must have been a century. That doesn't mean there isn't one here. Fair enough. That's why my men and I will do our best to assist you. As far as we are able to, of course. Thank you, Captain. I'm just following the mayor's orders, so it's him you should be thanking, not me. If you wish to express your gratitude personally, go to the fair. He's attempting to raise funds there today. My men will show you the way. Now, please excuse me. I need to check on the outposts at the other gates. You were right. He's an Inquisitor. I told you. I spotted the Inquisitor's insignia right away. Only they can wear them. Bloody dog catcher. <laughs> Quiet, fool or you'll bring trouble on our heads. What did you call me? Uh, uh, he meant no offense, Master. He doesn't think that at all. Those who disrespect an Inquisitor, disrespect the Holy Office. Your commander will hear of this. He will administer your punishment. Don't do it, Master. The captain will throw me out of the guard. I beg you, have mercy. Why, isn't today a celebration of Christ triumphant? Are you tempting an Inquisitor into committing the sin of mercy? Please. I'll do anything for you. Anything? I swear by the broken cross. The captain mentioned there's a fair currently being held in town. Where exactly? In the town square. You can't miss it, Master. But be wary of ruffians. And sons of whores are always lurking in the stands.
Do you know anything about a vampire? One is supposedly lurking around these parts. I haven't heard anything. How about you? Me neither. Um, what's going to happen to me? I'll find you. Should the need arise. Then we shall see the value of your oath. and celebrate our long time. However, one shouldn't ignore an opportunity for a conversation with God. Light the votive candle. Thank you, Jesus, for not letting me compromise in pursuit of the truth. Praise his bloody work. Offer, please, and be grateful for the gifts you received. <laughs>
esto que sigue. Forgive me, Master Inquisitor, but some sacks have fallen off our wheelbarrow. We must clear them away. So the passage will be blocked for a while. Are you using your fists instead of brooms? You mean this? <laughs> it's nothing, just a friendly scuffle. If you're going to the fair, the main street is the fastest route. All daredevils who don't shy away from a challenge. A tournament is being held to win the favor of the queen of last year's Mama's Parade. The winner will have the honor of entertaining the beautiful Liliana during the Mama's Parade, which will begin tomorrow after the Vespers service, as is customary. Anyone can try their luck. The entry fee is but one silver angel. Reach into your purses. The collected funds will go toward building a new monument to Christ triumphant, one majestic enough to eclipse that piece of trumpery from Schwebus. Well, well, the Inquisitor himself graces us with his presence. I'm happy to see you, Master. I am Guido von Herzen town's mayor. It is nice to meet you, mayor. What is your name, master? Mortimer Matadine. Mortimer. I'll be sure to remember that. Emissaries of the Holy Office rarely visit us. I do hope that Captain Bertram gave you a proper welcome. He's a soldier through and through. He can come off as blunt and boorish, but I've yet to meet a better soldier. His behavior was befitting of a guard commander. He brought you no shame. Excellent. I'll gladly speak to you later, but now I must attend to a certain matter. And the tournament, of course. I only wish to thank you for offering assistance in catching the vampire. If you truly wish to thank me, take part in the tournament. You'll be mixing business with pleasure. I shouldn't waste time on idle merriment. Although, since the Monument of Christ Triumphant is at stake, add my name to the list. I'm so happy. The other contestants looked insufferably boring, but you're something else. I noticed it immediately. Well, I'm far from ordinary. You'll be the king of the Mama's Parade, which necessitates that you wear the proper attire. Not far from here, there's a merchant who deals in fancy clothing. Buy a costume from him, even if it's only a mask. Meanwhile, I'll attend to my errands. I will see you later. Upon reaching Golgotha, the centurion in command of the legionnaires gazed upon Jesus and said, Hop up onto the cross I've set up for you! Jesus obeyed the command, as he didn't want the centurion's work to have been for naught. However, his time upon the cross was brief. It's pretty uncomfortable up here. He longed for his freedom. So he broke the patibulum and leapt to the ground. 
You destroyed my beautiful cross! Woe upon you! The Centurion threw himself at the Messiah, sword in hand. But Jesus did not allow him to strike. He who raises the cross dies by the cross. He seized the broken arm of the cross and struck first. Ah, Emperor Tiberius became wroth upon learning that. He decided to deal with Christ personally. You killed my loyal servant. It'll cost you your head. That I swear. Here's my paint. Jesus snatched the Centurion's sword and cut off Tiberius' head. Thus, oath and payment of one head. The Emperor is dead. Long live Jesus triumphant, our Lord and everlasting King! And that is how Christ claimed the throne of the end. Finally, an opponent. I was starting to put down roots. Was that supposed to be a dodge? Repeat that! Pathetic! Sacre bleu! Enough. Time for real combat. Merde. I rarely meet my betters. You've given me a valuable lesson. Thank you. Rob me. Ruffian! He went there! He stole my purse! The little snot reeks of love. Bathed in perfume, made me lose the scent. Did he get rid of the stench? Mysterious Diablo has to deceive him. Got you. It's not him. It hurts! 
Show me what's in your hand first. I saw you take it from a town person's cart. It's just an apple. What's your name? And where are your parents? I'm Amelia. And my parents and siblings are dead. They all died two years ago from the Plague of Pox. So, who looks after you now? Nobody. I don't need anyone looking after me. I can look after myself. By stealing. I was hungry. You won't fill your belly with just anything. What are you gonna do with me? Hand me over to the guards? Give the apple back, and be off. Just don't tell anyone you stole it. It would be better if you said it fell from his car. Off you go then. I need your fill. Children, have you heard any rumors about a vampire? A vampire? What's that? It's a monster. Granny said it has long fangs and can fly. Andy likes to drink blood. Blood? Why blood? To, to live a long time. So... Maybe my grandpa is a vampire? He... he's got to be a hundred years old. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I guess the town's treasury must be empty if you have to raise funds personally. <laughs> no, Master Metterdine, it's not as bad as that. The holiday tournament and fundraiser are simply old customs. Sadly, citizens of Königstein are beginning to suffer from poverty. There are fewer and fewer daredevils willing to join in the revelry. And this year, our goal is a lofty one indeed. However, I'm not certain if the funds we raise will be enough to achieve it. Surely the Cardinal will boast your finances. After all, we're talking about building a monument to Christ triumphant. Oh, I wish I could believe that. Unfortunately, His Eminence considers generosity on par with wastefulness. To pick up the pail, move it to the end of the white line in a vertical position, and then place it in the hole that's been made there. If you drop the pail on your way there, you'll have to start again from the beginning.
Damn it to hell. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Try harder, Master, because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. Try again! Damn it to hell. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Damn, slipped from my hand. You have to try harder, Master. Because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. For fuck's sake. Do not fret, Master. Try again. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Try harder, Master, because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. For fuck's sake. Do not fret, Master. Try again! You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Damn, slipped from my hand. You have to try harder, Master. Because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. For 
fuck's sake. Do not fret, Master. Try again. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Damn, slipped from my hand. You have to try harder, Master. Because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. Try again! Damn it to hell. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Try harder, Master, because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. Try again! Damn it to hell. You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Try harder, Master, because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. Try again!
You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? Try harder, Master, because you don't seem to be doing so well so far. Try again! You seem to be short on strength. Left home without breakfast, did you? 